day. But yeah, exactly. I think he would have done all right. Uh, let's get to our Ask Andrew question uh, for today. Of course, he thinks he would win. That's his opinion anyway. <laughs> Here's our question we've got for you. And this is related to the Northern Lights we saw last week. And I don't think we're done with those yet, by the way. What creates the colors that we see in those Northern Lights? This is from Sean in Rock Falls because all the pictures you look at, some are green, some are kind of a pinkish, purplish color. So here's what that is. So of course, when we talk about the Northern Lights, we're talking about the sun emitting all of this energy um, in kind of what we call like a solar flare or some kind of solar outburst, solar storm. These charged particles, they move into Earth's magnetic field, which is weakest at the poles. We talked about this last week. It really depends on the level of the atmosphere that these particles move through that gives you the certain color. So at the highest levels, 225 to 300 miles up, that's where you get this red color because oxygen only allows the longer wavelength variations of light to move through, which would be red. That's why those colors show up there. Now, if you see yellow, that's also a mix of red with the green. That's a little bit closer to the Earth's surface. That's because with the green, there's higher concentrations of oxygen that are around, giving those particles that green appearance. And the eye, the human eye that is, can actually detect green a lot more easily than any of the other colors that we have on the board here. More rare is the blue, the purple appearance. And that's when you have those particles interacting with the lowest part of the atmosphere, uh, usually at the bottom of the display too as well. There's more nitrogen at this level, which enhances that blue and purple color. So bottom line, the color of the Northern Lights depends on how high up or how low into the atmosphere these charged particles are moving through. Green, of course, being the most common. Read more about it at WQED.com.